Hi guys, I'm back for another three tarot cards for the week. Um, this week looks like an interesting week. There's a bit of work, a bit of rest, a bit of nurturing, <laughs> a little bit of love and a little bit of romance involved. So keep watching if you want to see what's coming up. Okay, so at the beginning of the week, straight into it, we have got the King of Pentacles. So the King of Pentacles is about business, work, achievement, finances, the material worlds, projects, things like that. Pentacles is always about the material world and matter. And in this instance, it's saying Monday, Tuesday, it's a good time to get a lot of stuff done, to work hard, to get really focused about what you want to get done. If you work for somebody else, there might be quite a lot going on. <laughs> it might be quite a busy couple of days. So, yeah. Um, but, yeah, so there seems to be a big rush on. Lots happening Monday and Tuesday. So that's going to be really busy. And it's also looking at your long-term plans financially. If you want to save for something, how you're going to do that. Maybe even setting out a budget and normal mundane stuff like that. And from a more spiritual perspective, bringing in the law of abundance, you know, maybe having a vision board or if you don't want to hang it up somewhere where people can see it, even in a notebook um, or a scrapbook. And also putting up some affirmations for your abundance goals you know which is not just finances it's all the good things in life so looking at the law of attractions yeah really quite useful at this time it's a good time to manifest and make things happen so yeah it looks like you've got a busy time or well, we all do on monday and tuesday on wednesday and thursday we have got the four of swords and no, the guy's not dead. He's having a rest. <laughs> Which after such a busy Monday and Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday, actually chilling a bit more. And that is part of the law of attraction is to actually, you know, set your intent, put it out there, but also know how to let go. Not to kind of obsess over your goals and keep working, 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 working at it. It's time to step back and do you know still work but not at such a frantic pace and trust that the universe has your back and it's going to give you what you want to manifest and what you need for your life and to be able to do the things you want to do so wednesday and thursday also a great time for meditation for more sort of quieter spiritual pursuits taking some time for that and yeah, just reflection and rest, really. So, yeah, you're not going to lie down for two days, but take some time for that as well. And if you do work for somebody, it's probably not going to be as busy as Monday and Tuesday. Or if you run your own business, it will be a little bit more relaxed on Wednesday and Thursday than it was on Monday and Tuesday. So, yeah, great time for meditation, reflection, re recharging re-energizing and things like that so by friday saturday and sunday we've got the empress and she's whoops there we go focus she is a lovely 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 um being very nurturing very caring very kind so allow that energy out there's abundance indicated and a certain amount of just well-being and feeling comfortable with where you're at and feeling okay about what you're achieving and what you've achieved but also romance and love the empress is quite romantic and gentle and soft so it's not just for females men can have that quality too you know the balanced male actually has that He's not staunch and macho all the time. He actually has that loving, nurturing, caring kind of aspect to himself if he's in balance. So, and for women too, you know, a lot of women have had to sort of shut that side of their nature down in order to survive in this world <laughs> because it's a competitive world based on more male principles. So, yeah, time to trust your inner wisdom, your intuition, your feminine qualities and also self-nurture so spend the weekend doing some really self-nurturing things for yourself you know bubble baths walks sitting by the beach things like that 
wonderful time next weekend to do that and sharing and caring with other people so yeah it's a beautiful beautiful weekend of abundance of joy of feeling content and also very very nurturing so if you've got a partner it's a wonderful time to just kind of hang out together and share some real deep connection or go that next step towards that deeper connection if you're single it's a time when you're going to seem quite charming to members of the opposite sex you know that you're quite attractive so that's a good time to meet and greet new people so yeah all in all it looks like a pretty amazing week um today i've been at the beach i'm actually in hawks bay at the moment i've got a few clients booking to come and see me which will be interesting because I'm not actually at an event um, I don't feel like going and squishing myself in at a little market I thought no I'll just put it out there and if people want to see me they can come and <laughs> have a reading so yeah um, anyway I'm enjoying my travels so keep an eye out on my Facebook page which is linked below if you want to know what I'm up to and where I am and also please don't forget to like and subscribe it does make a difference and it means you know I, I want to keep making these videos because if nobody watches them <laughs> they sort of disappear down 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 the line and in Google and YouTube and yeah you know it's it's quite nice when people enjoy them okay so anyway thank you for watching thank you very much i love doing this for all of you and it's it's great fun it's teaching me a lot too about the creativity and the art of making videos which is a bit of a steep learning curve but i love it so anyway um if you've got any questions leave them in the comments too and i'll see you all in my next video have a beautiful week lots of love see you then